and 10, election season is upon us once again, but with that comes another onslaught of robocalls. And political experts say with this upcoming presidential election, you might want to keep your phone off the hook. NBC 26's Alex Hagan has more in this special assignment. Wisconsin has already passed a no call list bill, but that did not include political robocalls. Legislation has been introduced several times to try and change that, but failed. So the question is, will there be another effort this time around? It kind of felt like an invasion of our time. Shades of 2012 keep believing in and me. 2014 we measure success are on Mary Freeberg's mind these days. At least 10 a day, maybe more. As she's eyeing yet another round of political robocalls. Irritating, and that's it. It's a waste of time. We're entering another political year in 2016, and that means we can all start getting frequent calls, robocalls. Political scientist Michael Kraft says Wisconsin is always seen as a swing state for presidential if elections. Our reforms can now work, throw can our governor in into the mix. The downside of that is that also inspires more politicians and political organizations to take advantage of that level of interest. Concerns about these calls that come at very inopportune times that kind of violate people's privacy. Representative Andre Jacques has been leading the charge in Madison against these calls for several years now, trying to add political robocalls to the do not call list. However, each time support is bare among his colleagues, Silly. as they call it a violation of the First Amendment. Jacques says the Badger State has gained a reputation as a cheap state to campaign in, meaning national organizations may bombard people with robocalls since they're so cost-effective, a few cents actually. In the 2010 governor's race, according to Wisconsin's campaign finance website, more than $68,000 were spent on political robocalls between the two candidates. That's more than 3 million calls. I think that they're counterproductive. I think they take away from being able to have those personal conversations between an individual and the people that uh, they're going to be representing. Robocalls, telemarketing calls, and violations of the do not call list continue to be the number one complaint of Wisconsin consumers. Even here in Brown County, the Democratic Party, who uses robocalls for business and events only, say they're getting out of hand. You know, as a party in and of itself, to get them under control there so there's not so many, and to just try and use them in a more judicious way. Research has shown in the past robocalls have no effect on voting habits, turnout, or persuasion. Put up with the rain. But for people like Freeberg, it does. It really impacts your vote because the people who do most of it are the ones that start sliding down your list, which is ridiculous. As she and so many other consumers don't think they can deal with another political robocall nightmare. Our political system. Now, Jacques says he will revisit this legislation. In the meantime, there is not much you can do to block political robocalls. There is a free service called Nomo Robo, which you can download for free online. Alex Hagan, NBC26. And for more information about robocalls as well as scams, just head to our website, NBC26.com, and click on this story.